Hello everyone, this is Fashion Design Short Course, brought to you by my online courses and trainings. In this video we will discuss about many fashion aspects. If you have any questions, concerns or suggestions, you can comment it and I will get to you as fast as possible. You may start the video by subscribing to the channel and giving it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Designers and manufacturers are particularly concerned with the duration of a fashion collection's importance. Some fashion collections have a longer duration than others, some can be very brief. A designer needs to identify which duration it is likely to be and only then can he or she evaluate the fashion's importance to the retail inventory. First let's talk about style. Here is where the difference between style and fashion is clear. Style is constant and does not change but fashion always changes. Fashion is the modification of a particular style. Style is considered to be the basic outline of any garment. The word style is popular in fashion and refers to a subdivision within fashion. By definition, it is that which has certain characteristics that distinguish it from other designs. An example of this could be that the fashion is the pleated skirt, but the style is a box pleat. A common misconception that people have is believing that famous designers actually create fashions. Famous designers aim to create styles they hope will be accepted. If the style then gets consumer support it becomes fashion, we have mentioned this before but it bears repeating, fashion is synonymous with acceptance. The second main topic is about basic or classic fashion. A long-lasting or constant garment type such as a t-shirt or skirt is called a basic or classic. The t-shirt and skirt are part of the fashion scene. People will usually have one or more basics in their wardrobes and they will be worn to two different occasions. During particular times, the basic will always be a part of the fashion scene. It becomes the most important promotable fashion, but whether in or out, they will always be a part of the fashion scene. Many outfits can be placed in this classification shirts and trousers, plain or pleated skirts and denims, etc. These are general fashions that last for years. The third main topic is fad. A fad in fashion is something that will appear on the scene and will capture people's imaginations. Unfortunately, a fad will phase out just as quickly as it came and it is for this reason that fads either make designers' lives more interesting or even more tense. Generally, a fad is defined as a short-lived fashion which lasts for a very short or limited time and is accepted only by a particular group of people. An example of this could be what is termed to be clothing. They have or had a particular style of clothing, their styles, way of life, etc. Another reason why fads are usually short-lived is because not everyone can afford them. The other main topic is trends. The things that major collections have in common are the fashion trends and styling creations and concepts. Fashion forecasters look for where the fashion direction is going and which styles they feel will be successful then attempt to create new fashion trends and capture the mood of the time. Global fashion trends are now moving at a very fast pace, spurred on by the internet and television. Five months is now the average time span for a fashion trend, not a year. For the junior market the time span is even shorter, standing at three months. Fashion forecasting. Fashion forecasting centers on approaching trends and is a global career. Fashion forecasting will predict many important elements of the upcoming trends such as the type of fabrics and the styles and colors that will show up on runways and in stores in the next seasons. This concerns all levels of the fashion industry and includes ready-to-wear to hot tutor, mass market to streetwear. Trend forecasting is not limited to the fashion industry of course. Nearly all industries use it and need it to keep ahead of their game. The responsibilities of fashion forecasters include all of the following. 1. Identifying the prophetic fashion trends. 2. Making assessments on which segments of the market will accept a particular fashion. 3. Establishing for how long and at which particular times these fashions will be acceptable to target customers. An important aspect of the fashion industry is forecasting future demand for specific fabrics, styles and colors. It ensures the process of observation related to both short and long-term planning is based on comprehensive decision-making. This way time and effort are not wasted on hype or something that will not yield results. Textile specialists will work around two years ahead to establish the general guidelines for every fashion season. Therefore, accurate forecasting is essential. Long-term forecasting is often used by executives for planning corporate strategies. Product developers, production managers and merchandisers use more short-term forecasting in order to direct the style and shape of collections. Short-term forecasting entails several companies using services which assist them in scanning the marketplace and reporting on fashion developments which include styles, colors and types of textiles. About a year and a half before the start of the new season, forecasters will get indications as to the first views of the trends. It is at this time that color becomes a vital consideration of yarn mills and becomes the center of attention in discussions with others interested in early trend decisions. From the early fashion trade and yarn shows the forecasters combine their opinions about color and fabric with their socio-economic and cultural analysis. 
There are certain areas used to predict the change in consumer demands and these include music, cinema, television, sport and trends and lifestyles. Fashion forecasting includes activities such as analysis of the market conditions and lifestyles of the consumers, study of sales statistics, assessing popular designer collections, observing street fashion and examining fashion publications. The direction of fashion change. Certain trend watchers view fashion currents as a hierarchical status level. One theory has it that fashion flows down from well-known and highly visible fashion elite. Another theory goes along the lines of fashion flowing upstream from the street level after it is discovered by the fashion elite and then launched in an adapted version to mainstream audiences. If a particular look is endorsed and supported by the fashion media and is manufactured quickly enough, it can flow across to all levels of the market. Take denim, for example. It can be used as is or be presented in different and unusual colors. Different silhouette styles or added details are used as a different way to wear accessories. It can also be introduced in a way that expresses a particular mood or unique style. Whether it is accepted or rejected can be time-mapped. This joint selection creates a feedback circle between the consumer and the fashion industry. This cycle is regulated by visual aesthetic trends and socio-psychological processes.